Hey there, hi there, ho there. Feeling relatively good today, and I want to encourage you all to please, 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 please come join my party. It is Pure Haven. I am very passionate about it. I am passionate about reducing the toxins in our home. Today, I asked in our party, which I would love for you all to come join and please support me. Even if you don't order anything, let's help raise awareness because I want to tell you my number one thing is right here. I get it at Dollar Tree, and after looking at the ingredients and looking on ewg.com, which is the environmental working, now I got to say it the right way, environmental working group. We are a nonprofit, nonpartisan organization dedicated to protecting human health and environment. This site has nothing to do with Pure Haven. It just so happens to be this is a site you can take the back of your label and you can start dissecting this and entering it in this site and they will tell you what's in it. Be a label reader. Look on the back here. Look at the bottom. First of all, in very, very, very tiny font, this product is manufactured and distributed by Johnson & Johnson, one of the registered trademarks to shower and shower. Guess what? Why is this bad? One, Johnson & Johnson was recently just sued and they lost a huge old lawsuit because their talc powder was creating ovarian cancer. Why was it creating ovarian cancer? Because women were putting it down under and they were trying to keep the moisture away. Well, guess what? That's seeping into your body and it was creating ovarian cancer. Why is that? Number one ingredient, talc. Now, when I first went to the party with Anne and Angela, poor Anne, I grilled her to death. Well, where does it say that talc is bad and blah, blah, blah. And she said, oh, it's a part of the asbestos family. Why well, I went digging, 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 digging? Because I don't believe what people say on the internet. I'm a technology person. I've been in tech since before many of you might even have been born. <laughs> so I want you to consider looking this stuff up like I did. Research it. I just did a talk today on researching and presenting for Toastmasters. And as a part of that, I did more and more and more research and found out, yep, Talc is a part of the asbestos family. Now, some talc has asbestos in it. Some talc doesn't. Why risk it? If it's creating ovarian cancer and it's by a company, oh, and look, it doesn't say it's Johnson & Johnson, but super, 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 super tiny. You probably didn't read it. It's Johnson & Johnson. Cornstarch, sodium bicarbonate, fragrance. Why is fragrance bad? Well, guess what? The companies who put fragrance in their products, they don't want to tell you what's in it because they claim, mm, <laughs> claim, did you see it, C-L-A-I-M, quotes, that if they tell you what's in their fragrance, then their competitors aren't going to be, then their competitors are going to be able to steal their item. That's not true. The reason why they don't tell you what's in their fragrance is because they don't want to tell you all the crazy chemicals that make up that fragrance. Most of those fragrances, unless they list exactly what it is, is not real fragrance. It's not essential oils. It's not natural. It's nothing like that. And don't get me started on what's natural and what's safe and what's not. We'll do that on another video. What's in this product in the foot therapy cream that I'm giving away? You can read it right there. It's even online. It says cedarwood, tea tree, peppermint. Yes, it has other lists in the back. However... It's things like this. It's amazing. Shea butter, organic olive oil, sunflower seed oil, organic coconut. It's just amazing. Amazing. Radish root. <laughs> These are all fabulous things. Avocado, organic aloe vera, leaf juice, organic tea tree, organic cedar oil, peppermint oil, chamomile, and calendula. It smells great and I want to share with you that just because it says foot cream you don't have to just use it on your foot cream. One of the things I found out with my areno tekin which is my chemo medication, the main chemo medication, is that it's creating a side effect of pain in your hands when you wash your hands. It's the friction or when you walk in your shoes or you take a hot shower or cold shower, extreme cold, 
And this actually helps to soothe that. If you are a cancer patient, you know a cancer patient, you know someone whose hands hurt, arthritis, I have premature arthritis. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to stop saying that at 48. <laughs> Maybe I just have arthritis. But it's basically making this feel better. I put it in my hands and it helps cool it and soothe it. Sometimes I put a little bit on the back of my neck even. It's not just for foot therapy. I believe in using a product to the best of its ability. While it says foot therapy, there's other uses for it. I'm giving this away. Why? Because I ended up with an extra one and I want to raise awareness. I want to help you. And I'm willing to give this to you for you to look at it and you to take your lotion that you use, Cetaphil or Burt's Bees or whatever, and compare Put them side by side. This is powder, but imagine it's lotion. Put them side by side. Go to the ewg.org website and take a look and see what's in yours and what's in here and how it compares. It's amazing. Just amazing. We can take any of this stuff, and one of the things that is in this powder is phosphates. And let me bring this up on the EWG website website phosphates why are phosphates bad let's get to it phosphates are bad because they are endocrine disrupting chemicals and endocrine disrupting chemicals is used to make plastics such as fire retardant in foam furniture what is this doing to your body besides disrupting your hormones and I have enough disruption I don't need any more Scientific evidence shows that it may contribute to weight gain and obesity. Are you wondering, hmm, why am I gaining weight? Why have I got a chunky middle? Could it be the product that you're using? What about a cream that you might be using to put on your tummy that's supposed to help shrink that? Guess what? It could be making you sick. It's highly possible. What's going on? Why am I crazy about this? Because right now, I'm fighting cancer for a second time, and I'm doing whatever it takes. For those who know what this is, you know what that says. Whatever it takes. I won't say that word on video, because I'm a lady. <laughs> See? Pro. So, I want you to think about this. We have this that's causing ovarian cancer. Deodorant that's causing breast cancer because we put it right here and we're, it has all kinds of horrible negative things in it. Go grab your deodorant. Start entering it, ewg.org. Be surprised because it will tell you what it's doing and you might be like, oh my goodness, I can't even believe it. Now maybe you don't care. Maybe it doesn't matter to you. But have you thought about the fact that maybe you're putting something on your baby or your child, like sunscreen, that could be affecting them. They have linked sunscreen to some autism cases. Go check it out. There's just such craziness. I just want to raise your awareness, and I want you to support me. Now, I don't mean that that necessarily has to be financial. I would love it if you did, because those chemo treatments are very expensive, and even after our insurance, $800 to $1,200 is way too high for me to constantly have to pay. This is a product, this is a company that I feel strongly about. I love that I can look up their items. I love that it says right on the main ingredients and everything else is actually natural. What we need to do is slowly reduce the toxins in our home. You're not going to be able to go out and change everything right away. It would just be too expensive. But you know what? While you're looking it up, consider, hmm, my kid has this illness. I have this sensitivity. I have vertigo. I have these issues. I wonder if maybe it's because these things, you know, horrible things, this is going in the trash after today because I'm not taking chances, you know. Let, let's reduce the toxins in our home. Trade this for that kind of thing. Take your Burt's Bees lotion, throw that away, or whatever that lotion is, Tom's or Bonner's or whatever, Look this stuff up, and when you realize and you recognize what's going on, come, please, purchase something to help me, to help you from Pure Haven. If not for yourself, do it for your children, do it for your husband, do it for the environment, because it really will change your life. 
I hope that this message finds you well. I have not had a lot of people come and join my party. I really would like you to come play. If you don't feel like this works for you, could you share it with somebody else? Because I really want to just raise your awareness, and I would really love your support and assistance in this quest. Let me instruct you. As I said in the post, let me edumacate you. <laughs> because if you're edumacated, educated, that's just a funny way I say it, you will have a heightened awareness. I believe that you will go ding, 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 just like I did, and you're going to start seeing a lot more stuff being thrown in my trash and a lot more Pure Haven bought. I could really use your support. Share, buy, buy something for me, buy something for you, buy something for your children. Be cautious about what you're putting on your children and babies' bodies and around them. Be cautious about the oils that you're putting in diffuser. We have oils as well as Pure for Pure Haven. And... Just be careful, be aware, pay attention. Do what you can to help support me. I'm going to be hosting this party all day long today because Wednesday's a good day for me to relax when I'm not doing chemo. And I don't want to wait. I want to talk to you all about this. And I'm a voice that is going to be heard. Now, you don't have to listen to the video, but I'm going to talk and I'm going to share and I'm going to do everything I can to help you because I want to reduce the toxins in your home. I want to do whatever I can to help you because you may not realize how much it's hurting you, just like I didn't either. And as they say in Finding Forrester, he turns his socks inside out and the gentleman says, why do you do that? And he says, in Tibet, they believe it's good luck. And the gentleman says, do you believe it's good luck? And Sean Connery in the movie says, well, it can't hurt. <laughs> That's me. It can't hurt. Give it a try. Consider it. Please please, please start thinking about what's in your product. Start reading labels and start taking care of yourself. By taking care of you, you're taking care of me because if we all just do a little bit, we're going to make a difference in this world. Mwah! Be fabulous!